from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. The government is getting more pushback from the Human Rights Bahamas Group over both its Abaco Shantytown policy and its response to calls by a UN group for a stop of the demolition of new structures on the island. Works Minister Deputy Prime Minister Bannister made this comment to reporters this week. It has come to a point where we have to decide whether we're going to have a society like the Bahamas or we're going to have a society like Haiti. And any of you who have been to Haiti, you'll see what happens there. Dirt, garbage, shanty houses all over the place. HRB officials now reacting to that, calling the DPM's comments unfortunate, says that they only emphasize that the government's actions are driven by discrimination and xenophobia. The group is urging the government to stop what it calls its might is right policy and to act like they're in a modern democracy. There's still no word on when Supreme Court Justice Cheryl Grant Thompson will issue a ruling in the overall Shantytown Challenge case taken to court by 177 Shantytown residents. Opposition leader Davis among those urging the government not to take any further action on Shantytowns until the court matter has been completed. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Following an extensive search of the Defense Force, calling off the search for 35-year-old Teron Maynard, missing now for more than a week on a boating trip from the capital to Abaco, he was on a 22-foot craft. A statement from the force says they've searched an extensive area and they have not come up with anything. Relatives are still hoping. Former Tourism Minister Wilscombe, among the latest candidates ratified by the PLP for the next elections, he goes back into West Grand Bahama and Bimini, after losing in the last elections there to the FNM's Prakisha Parker Edgecombe. Social Services Minister Campbell confirming that they are holding emergency meetings to discuss coronavirus concerns at nursing homes that after recent infections were reported at one of them. Pan American Health Organization urging countries to use what it's calling utmost caution when it comes to loosening coronavirus travel restrictions the government is apparently listening, announcing another extension of the current ban on travel from Haiti for at least another month. 33 more confirmed coronavirus cases were reported by the Ministry of Health yesterday and one more related death. Health officials keeping an eye on those numbers. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's Overnight Accu Weather Update, brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Weather associated with a frontal system in the Florida area, generating some related weather in the northwestern Bahamas. Partly cloudy tonight, chance of showers, overnight lows from the mid to upper 70s. 75 at Freeport, 75 in the capital, 78 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable, the sea's three feet or less. Next tide is a high around 11 this evening. Friday's forecast, partly cloudy, highs in the mid-80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power & Light BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News Headlines, the United Nations Security Council preparing to meet to discuss the escalating situation in the Middle East. Israel and Hamas continue to exchange attacks, Hamas sending rockets into Israel, which is responding with air attacks in the Gaza City area. The violence has now spread to other cities. Casualties have been reported on both sides, including some children. U.S. President Biden among the world leaders calling for a de-escalation of that situation. The U.N. is warning that the two sides are close to all-out war. Sports notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports section on TV. There's Major League Baseball and some soccer, some major tournaments being played in Europe right now. Some golf on TV from England also. 
and the NBA. Nine games tonight as the regular season winds down. Buddy in Sacramento at Memphis. DeAndre and the Suns at home against Portland. The Tribune Sports will have coverage in the Tribune Sports Friday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 